My name is Jen Tabor. I am uh, the owner, designer, manufacturer of Soldier Guitar Straps. We are based in Chicago, Illinois, and um, we've been making product for, I think, 13 years now on recycled tipa with vintage fabric. We have a lot of the original fabrics, dead stock from the 60s and 70s. This uh, right here is uh, the Monterey strap where Hendrix did his guitar on fire. Um, at this point, we have a lot of things missing for the booth because we've been supplying all the musicians here at NAMM this weekend, but uh, I can show you what we've got left. This is a Bob Dylan strap, what he had on the back of his greatest hits. I just found out that this strap may have been given to him by um, one of the Beatles, I'm not sure. I can't remember which one it was, but they gave him a guitar. Yeah, maybe it was George Harrison. Yeah, gave him a guitar and it had the strap on it and then it ended up on the Greatest Hits album. This is a version of our Neil Young strap. The black one has already been taken for one of the other booths. You know, this happens all weekend. Um, and then uh, we have a, an iconic owl strap. This is kind of one of the things that people have really grown to love from our brand, as well as the Daisy and that list goes on and on. Eric Clapton, here's another Eric Clapton strap. This is a super fun 60s one that I just can't get enough of. I hope people love it as much as I do. But we started making guitar straps about 13 years ago. Um, the guys in my band needed birthday presents and it turned into an actual business. Before this, I was an orchestra director and a music teacher. I played all the strings, so I was moonlighting as a bassist in a band and then that's where Soldier started. Um, so we have our product line is everything from original vintage stock to new stuff to uh, things that we've created and it's all in recycled seat belt um, and then I've added some lines along the way so down on this end we have what is our saddle straps this is some of the highest quality leather and you can tell because if you fold it it has this nice pull up on it it starts to age really well this was a product that we came out with about 45 years ago and it was kind of in response to those old Bobby Lee straps that uh, had the pad but the pad would always fall to the bottom them. So we kind of fixed that problem by making a contoured pad boomerang style that would cr cradle the front and back of your shoulder. It's got suede on the back and a non-skid uh, rubber in the inside that really uh, helps distribute the weight for Les Pauls and some heavier, heavier guitars. And then of course I had to add the signature soldier patterns on that. So that's where this line came from and um, it's been a lot of fun. It's been really popular. It's always nice to make something and see it so widely received. It's, it's great. Um, and then down on this end, I've got some base straps. We make three inch wide straps when I can find great materials. These are for bases. And then I wanted to do something that was more acoustic and fun and I ended up finding these patterns. Uh, this is all hand woven by an indigenous tribe in South America. I always feel silly. Of course, it's an indigenous tribe in South America, but they're one of a kind, beautiful textiles, hand knotted, kind of like a friendship bracelet I used to make when I was a kid. And then we put suede front and a suede back on it. And they're super heavy, really nice weight, um, and absolutely beautiful, of course. So then we branched into banjo straps. Here's what's left of our banjos. We do banjo straps, they have a nice uh, leather end, that kind of, and a, what this is a Chicago screw actually, it folds over the rings of the banjo, easy on, easy off. And then around the other side of my, uh, my pallets, we have a ukulele straps. All our ukulele straps have two hooks on them, we kind of invented this style. So it hooks into the front of the sound hole and the back of the sound hole, it wraps over your shoulder, and you could actually walk around with the ukulele without having it fall off. This you'll see in the middle, for the people who are watching, this is all the cutouts from our uh, guitar strap end. So this is what a hide of leather looks like once all the soldier ends have been punched out of it. And this year I decided to incorporate my uh, waist into art. So now I'm carrying these things around with me everywhere and my booth will constantly be decorated with hides of leather with all the punch outs on And then over here is our mandolin straps. These we put a built-in cord on them. So uh, they work for kids' guitar, mandolin. Uh, there's so many different ways people are strapping on ukuleles this day. I have a lot of people using them for ukulele, and they're actually long enough for acoustic guitar. So it's a really nice, thin, light acoustic guitar strap. And um, thing, yeah, that's where that's where we have it at this point.